What up folks, I'm Ultrazilla and this is my haul of the week video. Yeah, another one of these. Uh, it's a good time for it. Uh, it's the end of uh, the week. Well, for me it's still Friday evening, but not gonna get a chance to do anything Saturday because I'm gonna be out all day at a family function. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna end it here and I say end it here because all week I've been recording pieces of this video like you know opening up a bunch of packages that have come in since last Saturday actually when I was at Kaiju Brooklyn and you know I haven't had a chance to get to any of this stuff or stuff that came in the week prior um, just because you know as you've seen on the channel it's been non-stop Kaiju Brooklyn coverage because I've had a lot of content to sift through and go through and you know give my thoughts about so I did all that now we also did a nice review uh, last night which I guess is tonight <laughs> um, for stuff that is pertinent to this weekend because it is also the five points fest this weekend which I am scheduled to go to as press on Sunday so look for some uh, video from that coming up early next week. And then after that, we'll start hitting all of this new product that is here, from the unboxings you've seen, from the like haul stuff you've seen. You might be getting more stuff at Five Points. Who knows? You know, always gotta keep an eye out on for stuff. Um, some cool stuff that might pop up, you never know. Uh, I don't know for sure at the time of this recording. But before we get to all the stuff in this video, and again, you know, those videos, those pieces of videos were all shot throughout the week around the same time every every night. Uh, not every night, but like a few nights this week. Uh, I did want to mention, I did pick up a few new tees, and this is a Autobot symbol tee. Uh, these long sleeve tees that I really, really like. Um, like these like baseball style, softball style tees, whatever you want to call them, practice jerseys. Uh, on Amazon. I did wear one at uh, Kaiju Brooklyn uh, that was a Jet Jaguar uh, Otaku company, whatever it's called. Um, one that turned out good, but this one, when I washed it, bled a little bit. So that's not cool. You see the red? Bled down a little bit. Um, not great. Thankfully, Amazon actually refunded me and told me I could keep the shirts. So, um, free shirt, hey, but it is kind of ruined. I did get a Decepticon one as well, which appears to have turned out fine. And again, the Jet Jaguar one was fine, so I don't know why the red in this bled a little bit. But a little bit of a warning for those that like to get shirts and, you know, possibly get them from Amazon. They're shipped and sold from Amazon and they're officially licensed by Hasbro, so I don't, I don't know, guys. Anywho, I did want to mention that because, you know, People like to get this stuff, uh, so you know, just be wary of that. Let's get to some unboxings. So let's kick things off with a little haul from Entertainment Earth. Uh, there's four items in here. Three new things uh, that had just come in. I do like to get items from Entertainment Earth um, that are either on sale because they have really big sales sometimes, although not in a little while, Entertainment Earth. Uh, you took down your sales right when I was about to buy a ton of stuff and you haven't reinstalled them yet, so I don't know what's up with that, but um, hopefully big sales will come again, although there was a sale going on here, this was Memorial Day weekend, so I got a little bit of money off of that, um, free shipping and all that, and uh, so it's just a few items here, like I said, three new items, and uh, one older item that I've been meaning to get, so of course the day they ship this, they also received something else that I wanted that I'm not going to get now because uh, I, it's not going to qualify for free shipping and I don't want to just get stuff that, just to make up for it. You know what I'm saying, guys? I didn't cut this open all the way. I thought I did. Let's see what we got. We got a little packing list that we don't need. Packing material. This, this box got pretty dented, though. So, the first thing is... Ooh, from Anime Heroes. I don't know, actually it's Dragon Star series because it is related to Dragon Ball Z, you know, Kira Toriyama creation. It is uh, Beelzebub 
from Sandland. Look at this packaging, really, really nice. Very, very cool. Now, uh, way back at uh, Toy Fair last year, I got to see this figure in person and I commented both in a video and on my Instagram that I thought this figure in person actually looked better than the figure arts that I also saw in person there. Um, so I was like pretty committed to at that point to uh, you know checking this figure out when it did come out because I have liked a lot of these figures even just this year with Chainsaw Man I thought it was fantastic and I thought the Game Dimensions figure of uh, Tekken's King was really good too so I do like the Bandai products uh, produced here well they're not produced here but you know the Bandai Play product so it does look really cool so I am uh, really looking forward for this next up here we go, this is the item I've been meaning to get. And it is the Entertainment Earth exclusive Mecha Godzilla. That's right, to continue our 50th anniversary of Mecha Godzilla reviews. We had a review to pop. So I've been meaning to get this, but again, waiting for stuff that I actually wanted to like pop in <laughs> that I didn't get yet, you know, and I haven't pre-ordered elsewhere. Um, you know, and or and or a sale and uh, both happen. So very cool. So I finally, finally got this, uh, and I am definitely looking forward to checking it out and putting it in my collection. The last two items are actually two Marvel Legends, and uh, you know, if you know my channel, and you've been here for a little bit, or even just recently, you know I have a love for Iron Man. Um, and uh, these two that just came out, this is Model 9, uh, just looked really, really cool and just spoke to me, and I was like, yeah, I think I gotta, I gotta get this one. It's on the... These like, you know, kind of vintage retro cards. I forget what they're called, what they call them. But yeah, and then speaking of vintage and retro, the Iron Man Model 01 in gold, the gold version, which is very cool, like from like Avengers number one, I guess, right? Um, I think, it probably says over here somewhere. Yeah, whatever, the gold version. Uh, I never did get that, you know, that silver version or gray version that was out in Targets. But I always thought this gold version was even cooler. So I'm glad I ended up getting this. But yeah, two Marvel Legends. And there you go, that's what I got from Entertainment Earth. So while we were at Kaiju Brooklyn, I got a big old bag from AliExpress. You know how that goes. There's actually two separate items here from two different sellers. Um, and they're both kind of like knockoff Transformers. Um, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so let's uh, pull them out. I guess individually wrapped, oh. and then, you know, I guess in the sorting center, put together by Ali, I don't know, guys. Um, it was one of those things where I sold one of them uh, on Dime Chop, did I say that right? Um, who's a big supporter of the channel, and I, I do appreciate uh, his shares of my stuff. Um, and I believe it's this. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. I saw it on his channel. Uh, yeah. T O O one, I believe. So very generic box. This is well, outer box at least. This is a. Uh, I'll show you. It, it's interesting. Oh, it's got a nicer box inside. T O one. And uh, what this is, is a third party knockoff combo. They use the engineering of Earthrise Optimus Prime. Oh, with a very interesting, I'm doing this outside obviously, uh, all of this. <laughs> um, but then they, it's a, kind of a, like a weird G1-esque upgrade design, uh, but it's upscaled. Um, so it's it's a weird weird thing, but it looked really cool. Oh, oh it's very weird. <laughs> so, but it's big. It looks very very interesting. Comes with gun, energon axe, very very bright. I don't know. I'm kind of liking this. I don't know if I like his face. It's all white, um, but 
It's very animated looking. We'll, take, we'll, we'll, we'll be looking at this pretty soon because I'm very, very curious uh, about getting this in front of the camera for a review. But yeah, stay tuned. It, it is very interesting. So while that first thing is kind of creative, uh, in its knockoffness, uh, this one is probably not. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna spare you uh, trying to open this on camera. So what I got here, and shout out to uh, my pal Toy a Box Soapbox um, for posting a knockoff of a G1 Metro Titan, uh, which is a repaint, a variant of very very rare variant of. G1 Metroplex. That kind of sent me on a little bit of a rabbit hole of different knockoffs. And while I did find what he got and it looked amazing, I ended up getting the G1 Metroplex, but I never had that um, knockoff, which is, and it was a cheap knockoff. Like, it wasn't like the really good ones. <laughs> It was a really good knockoff, uh, and that's what he got of the uh, Metro Titan. But this one was 30 bucks shipped. Uh, and. Ooh, the gum sale is really good. And it does have, like, that's a card. Stickers. So, I, I don't know if this is going to be very easy to look at, but. We do have to open it at some point, so might as well just do it. Everything's looking good. The plastic quality is pretty standard, okay. I guess. But it is, it is in a lot of pieces. And check out, check out these. Let me get with them. Pretty cool. Little dude. Very, very cheap feeling, but hey. Still trying to get. There's more pieces in there. But, hey, you know. This is the exact size. Probably plastic feels a little light. Um, but. And hollow, but you know. <laughs> it's kind of charming, too. So this is cool, it's got some kind of fakish chrome that's not perfect. Looks like it's from the 80s. <laughs> uh, but you know what man, for the price, this, this is kind of this is kind of cool. Uh, I don't know. This, this is kind of neat. Yeah, we will be checking this out, so do stay tuned. But uh, that's what I got uh, from AliExpress. I actually have one more thing coming from AliExpress that... I think it's almost Hi, my zillions. Now I got something from Amazon, and I think you're going to be very interested in this. And this is a good way to let you know. Once again, follow me on Facebook if you want to get alerts on deals, because that's what this was. And I hope uh, a lot of my zillions took advantage of this particular one. Um, and I got to say, this is cool packaging. This is uh, packaging that uh, Amazon Japan had started prior to um to this and i don't really like it because while it's made to fit your order um it's not very reusable um in a, a nice way so amazon I, I don't think you're doing anybody any good by uh using this packaging however what we do have is the mecha godzilla garuda and fire dan makuhari decisive battle version that's right. I honestly didn't know if I was going to get this. As a matter of fact, I usually don't get a lot of these variants, but this was like half off. It was $119, uh, which was, yeah, like <laughs> pretty much half off, right? Um, of what it normally uh, goes for. So I, ha I had to had to grab it. Um, you know, I've missed out on some other deals recently. I know like a few months back, Iris was on a big sale i couldn't participate in that but this one uh i was able to grab and you guys know i like sh monster rod so even though again just a repaint how many mecha gauzels or gorillas do i need 
I don't know. But uh, the Fly Rodan, that was an interesting variant to get. So let's uh, let's give it a quick check on the inside. Look at the box. This brown box doesn't do much for us, really. But there you go, that's better. Pretty cool packaging. Very, very nice looking. Give it a quick look inside. Because I know folks want it. Would like that. I know that there's probably plenty of reviews around, but what else? Hmm. This, to me, more so than this, is very, very cool. Um, not quite the brown uh, Rodan that everybody wants, but, you know, still cool nonetheless. A little bit different looking, very nice looking actually. Excited to look at this Rodan again. I'll be honest, I have no idea where my older Rodan is. He hasn't been on my Monstar shelves, so I don't know if I'll be able to do a comparison. But then again, I don't know when I'm getting to this. It's not new, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, I got a lot to review right now, but it looks pretty decent. And here's this guy. Oh, that's not bad. That's really all I'll, I'll look at. I'll have to look at it with the other ones. I'm not a, a terribly excited to get this particular Mechagodzilla again. Um, just because I have multiple versions of it already. Um, it's good. It's a good It's a good figure. I just don't know if I needed it again. You know what I'm saying, guys? All right, gang. And one last package. And again, AliExpress deal. Uh, but this time, it's not a knockoff. Um, this time, it's actually something I've been kind of complaining about on the Ultra Z News a little bit. Uh, and, unfortunately for me, or for, but fortunately for you, I, I'm getting like two of these now. Um, well, let's open it up first and I'll, I'll let you know. Oh, we got a lot of packing to do in here. <laughs> so I got a nice crushed Hyatoy's Kong Skull Island Exquisite Basic. Uh, yeah, I AliExpressed it because, um, you know, th they kept moving the the date on me. I got an Amazon um, email saying that it was moved to January. And then um, BBTS moved their thing to November. However, after this was well on its way, so I decided, hey, let's let's just AliExpress it because I didn't really want to wait on this one anymore. I, I kind of, you know, you guys know I love Kong, so... I waited long enough, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, of course, after this was in transit, uh, I did get a notice from BBTS that they got theirs in. Yeah, so there's that, you know? Uh, I will have another one, I guess, but because they, they shipped it right away, uh, it is what it is. This one this one is all kinds of open, so let's see. Maybe, maybe it's a good thing that <laughs> I am getting the other one from BBTS. So, we'll see. We shall see. Uh, I have no fear of it being like a knockoff or anything because I haven't heard um, of any high toys knockoffs quite yet. So, hey, you never know. Uh, which would make this unique at least. This is not, um, this is sealed over here, so that's good. So he comes with a tree, that's good. And you guys probably know this already because he's been out over there for a little while. It looks decent enough. He's got a big old butt. That's interesting. So, huh. We'll have to check him out further. Now, there are other Kong. I didn't love, I'll tell you that much, the Godzilla vs. Kong one. I didn't love it. Um, it's one of those Kongs where I'm kind of thinking about getting rid of that one. This one's looking pretty decent, though. Not terrible. So we shall see. This is definitely obviously on the list to review. And I do have an anniversary coming up. Uh, and uh, we're getting close to 15k subscribers. So there will be a giveaway soon. So I will have a giveaway. I think it's going to be the Kong. Uh, probably the other one because, um, you know, this one's <laughs> destroyed. Uh, but the, the figure is fine, it looks like. So, you know. You guys will get a nice fresh one from uh, Big Bad Toy Star, so 
Uh, yeah, we'll see how that one goes. <laughs> but that one's on its way. Like I said, I was gonna cancel it, but then I was just like, you know, I could use it for a giveaway, so I just let it ship. It was already set to ship on its own and not go into my pile of loot. So, it is what it is. I do have another couple items from BBTS on their way, so we'll be doing another one of these next week, but this is looking pretty decent. All right, my zillions, and that is my haul of the week. Some pretty good things there, I would say. Um, like I just mentioned in the Kong section, um, I do have another one coming, so uh, we'll talk about that next week, probably at the same time, you know? Right now, with the amount of stuff I do have coming, it kind of makes sense to do hauls as long as, you know, stuff is on its way. Like, I know in this video I mentioned that there was another item coming in. There was another item that came in from Entertainment Earth that I really wanted, but I didn't want to pay shipping again. If I didn't mention that, yes, when I shipped out my Entertainment Earth stuff, I there was another item that came in right as a ship. So if I didn't mention that, I think I did though. That said, uh, they got another item in that I would have been meaning uh, to pick up. Um, so I ended up getting that and um, the uh, item I wanted. So that's on its way. Another BBTS thing should be on its way besides the con. I had a couple things in my pile of and decided to ship it. I have a couple things coming in from GameStop because they had one thing that was like something I really wanted. So there's a few things on its way. We'll do another haul of the week next week because there's not going to be any reason for me to uh, totally jump on any of the stuff that's coming up. So, the amount of stuff that's already here, you know what I'm saying? So, there you go, guys. That is this week's haul of the week. Hope you dug it. Next week, we'll be getting back to more reviews. I know, only one review this week, only two reviews the week before, but it is what it is. We still had a lot of content here, and I hope you dug it all. Uh, and there you go, guys. Till next time, peace out peeps.